Hello everyone, back again with movie and tune recap. Today, I'm going to explain an American horror thriller film from 2020, titled Stay Out of the Attic. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. Ex-convicts, Imani and Carlos work for Albert Schillinger, another former inmate who runs a moving company. They've been hired to move the belongings of an elderly man, Vern Mueller, who's willing to pay extra for a single night move, except for items in the attic and basement, which he will handle by himself, and they agreed. Carlos attempts to use his phone but discovers there's no signal, and Vern explains that the house's construction of brick and stone might be the cause. Albert directs Imani and Carlos to fetch tools, boxes, carts, and bubble wrap from the van. After unloading, Carlos confides in Imani about feeling uneasy about the house, and revealed the only reason he is doing this job is because of his daughter. Carlos decides to bring the carts inside, while Imani puts on her tool belt. Glancing up at the house window, Imani notices something odd but doesn't pay attention to it. The group starts their work, and soon after, they decide to take a break, which is nighttime. While they're eating, Carlos gets upset when he notices Nazi tattoos on Schillinger's body, indicating Schillinger's past association with the Aryan Brotherhood during his time in jail. Schillinger explains that he's changed and got the tattoos in prison for survival, and they resolve the issue. As they get back to work, Schillinger assigns Carlos to the library, Imani to the baby's room, while he will go downstairs and unbeknownst to them, Vern overhears their conversation. While alone, Schillinger stumbled upon a locked door which leads to the basement, and unexpectedly he is caught by Vern. Schillinger explained that he was merely inspecting the padlock, and mentioned he recognized it as a German crest, which Vern confirmed it is true and revealed he is impressed. However, Vern began to ask strange questions, which made Schillinger uncomfortable, so he decides to excuse himself and leave. Meanwhile, Imani, who is in the baby's room, notice some eerie toys and photos of a man in uniform. She decides to put on music before starting her work, and while untying the baby crib, she hears some noises from upstairs but ignores it, and as she continues, a hand emerges from an open ceiling. In the library, Carlos stumbles upon books containing disturbing images and decides to alert Schillinger. They come across papers signed by Joseph Mengel, and the alarming books contains the notorious Nazi doctor's research. Meanwhile, Vern, watching them through security cameras, locks everyone inside the house before releasing a feral human from its cage. Schillinger and Carlos eventually join Imani in the baby's room, and Schillinger suggests they should abandon the job, fearing Vern may be continuing Mengel's work. However, Imani, fixated on the cash incentive, insists they finish the job as originally planned. As they continue working together, Carlos discovers a suitcase in an old closet and place it on a table. Undeterred, Imani decides to open it, revealing it is full of teeth and birth certificates related to Mengel's genetic experiments with twins, leaving the group in shock. While processing what is going on, they hear a loud bang from the attic, Schillinger decides to investigate and instructs Imani to call the police once she's outside. They head to the locked basement, and Imani successfully unlocks it, and gives Schillinger a flashlight before going to the front door. However, she finds it locked and hears a growling sound, which startles her. Imani is taken aback to see the feral human, which attacks her. Meanwhile, Schillinger, investigating the attic, comes across a bed and a light, indicating someone is living here, before being startled by a hand. Carlos, who is keeping watch, spots the feral human heading towards him, causing him to rush into the attic, and after a brief struggle, he and Schillinger manage to close the door. In Vern's secret basement lab, Imani is alive and tied to an operating bed. She screams for help, but Vern tells her that nobody can hear her, and reveals he can't let her or her friend leave the house. Despite his warning, Imani continues to scream, and when Vern tries to silence her, she bites his palm. Enraged, Vern extracts one of her eyes to use in a rejuvenation serum. In the attic, Schillinger and Carlos are drawn by noises they believe might be captive children, they find a mute girl named Anne, stitched to her deformed twin sister, Sarah. Schillinger and Carlos rescue the twins from the attic, but as they're about to escape, they realize the door is locked, 
and Vern confronts them at gunpoint. He shows them Imani's eye, revealing she's still alive, and tells them he has another eye to harvest. This angers Schillinger and when he attempt to attack Vern, he got shot, causing him to collapse to the floor. As Carlos quickly removes his shirt to stem the bleeding, an eagle tattoo is seen on Schillinger's chest, which both Vern and Anne seem to recognize. And, enraged, decides to leave, and suddenly, the feral human appears and chases Carlos back upstairs. Carlos encounters and and instructs her to hide, and while he seeks refuge in a bathroom, and and Sarah hide in a cardboard box. The feral human locates Carlos' hiding spot and attempts to break in, but Carlos finds some relief when the creature cannot gain entry. Meanwhile, Vern, watching Carlos through his security cameras, turns on music that appears to affect Carlos and the twins. Vern then dressed in his uniform before heading to Carlos' hiding spot. He informs Carlos that he has made a grave mistake by hiding in the bathroom, revealing that it's where he kills failed experiments with Zyklon B. He then turns on the gas and leaves. The gas begins to affect Carlos, causing blood to flow from his nose, mouth, and eyes. Meanwhile, Sarah's oxygen mask comes off, causing her to bleed and eventually she dies, and the feral human discovers them. Meanwhile, Carlos still struggling for his life, managed to escape by taking the locked door off its hinges, but suffers ill effects from the gas. Before the creature can harm the girls, Carlos managed to rescue them by stabbing the feral human in its neck with a screwdriver. Carlos collapsed to the floor seemingly struggling for breath, and the creature crawl away while clutching its injured neck. After witnessing Carlos' death, and pick up the screwdriver and go after the creature. In Vern's basement lab, Schillinger unexpectedly regains consciousness, and Vern reveals that he brought him back to life because of his ties to the Aryan Brotherhood. Vern then discloses his true identity as Joseph Mengel, he explains that he has survived this long by creating a rejuvenation serum, which he also administered to Schillinger. However, he can only create this serum from the optic nerves of people who have suffered greatly, and in doing so, he has to flee once he has killed too many people in the surrounding area. Mengel adds that he has to move because hunters find him, and it was not a coincidence that he hired Schillinger. Mengel tells Imani that Schillinger was a deputy in the Aryan Brotherhood long before he went to prison but Schillinger insists to Imani that he has changed. Mengel moves to take out Imani's other eye, but Schillinger intervenes, asking to see how he will harvest Imani's enzymes, and Mengel released him under the guise that he still holds Nazi sympathies. As Mengel prepares for the operation, Schillinger attacks him, and Imani manages to free her hand and punch Mengel on the mouth, causing him to fall. Schillinger then frees Imani, and she begins punching Mengel until Schillinger stops her. As they are planning their escape, Mengel, who is still alive, turns on the TV, where they see the body of Carlos. This angers Imani, and as she try to attack Mengel, he threatens them at gunpoint. Suddenly, Vern becomes distraught when he sees his death's creature and decide to check on the corpse. It is revealed that and killed the creature, and upon learning that Mengel is close by, she attacks him, which Schillinger and Imani watch through the TV. Mengel falls down the stairs and breaks his legs, and the workers rush to the twins' aid. Ultimately, Imani and the girls escape the house while Schillinger decides to remain inside. Mengel tries to appeal to Schillinger as a white supremacist, but Schillinger carves off the chest flesh bearing one of his Nazi tattoos as an act of defiance and toss it at him. Schillinger then uses his boot to crush Mengel's skull with repeated kicks, and before dying, Mengel managed to push a button that opens a red door. The movie concludes as Schillinger prepares to fight multiple feral humans coming out from the basement. In a mid credit scene, Carlos is seen to be alive, and after the credit scene, Schillinger, Imani, and Carlos is seen arriving in a new area, having all survived the previous horrors of the house, and Schillinger is seen holding Mengel's gun. Okay guys, that's all the recap about Stay Out of the Attic from 2020. Thanks for watching, see you again in the next video.